Item number SCP-3151 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-3151 in Foundation custody are to be kept in mass storage at Site-22. Any testing with SCP-3151 must be approved by at least one member of Level 3 personnel. As part of Operation Effort, SCP-3151 when instances in the territory of three Portlands are to be located and brought into containment by Mobile Task Force Beta 29. Just say no. Working alongside UIU forces in the area, any individuals dealing in SCP-3151 are to be interrogated for information regarding SCP-3151 distribution. Medical programs are to be established in three Portlands to assist individuals who have become addicted to SCP-3151, as well as those who have suffered mental damage as a result of overuse. Description SCP-3151 is the collective designation for an as of yet unknown number of liquid substances which, when ingested orally, Cause the user to experience a compressed and immersive hallucinatory vision of a popular film. Each container of SCP-3151 was found upon recovery, bearing a label reading, Movie in a Bottle, the next stage in the entertainment vision from Westhead Media, as well as the title of the film it causes a vision of. Thus far, SCP-3151 has primarily been distributed throughout the city of New Portland through a network of anomalous substance dealers paid through intermediaries by GOI 1783, Westhead Media. Individuals who have ingested SCP-3151 described the resulting vision as being akin to experiencing the narrative of a popular film through a viewpoint shifting between characters from scene to scene, while well, this experience is described as lasting for the full runtime of the original film. In reality, it only lasts for three to four minutes, during which they are completely still and unresponsive to all stimuli. This experience is generally described as more immersive than the original film due to the presence of stimuli relevant to all senses rather than experiencing the film solely through the senses of sight and sound. Emotional reactions to the film immediately following the vision also seem to be heightened. Whether this is inherent to the more immersive viewpoint of the viewer or a property specifically engineered into SCP-3151 is currently unknown. SCP-3151 is highly addictive and evidence suggests this is an intentional aspect of the substance. Observation of SCP-3151 use throughout Three Portlands has also shown that prolonged and frequent use can have extremely adverse effect on the user's mental state. As the user ingests more of SCP-3151 and further visions are experienced, they gradually lose their ability to discern between reality and the narrative shown to them in said visions. This condition worsens as the user continues to ingest SCP-3151, escalating to the point where they are unable to differentiate between themselves and one or more several characters in their films. If left untreated, this can lead to complete cognitive breakdown. Amnestic therapy has proven to be effective in repairing damage to a limited degree by erasing memories of the visions provided by SCP-3151. As of the time of writing, 53 variants of SCP-3151 have been found and identified through testing. All known SCP-3151 variants grant visions of films that Westhead Media has had some level of influence over, whether financially or through other means. Known variants of SCP-3151 include A faintly glowing liquid, bright blue in coloration, 
that causes visions of the 1982 film Blade Runner, U.S. theatrical release, described as tasting similar to Coca-Cola. A liquid, light green in coloration, that causes visions of the 1939 film The Wizard of Oz, described as having a texture similar to that of sand. A liquid dark brown in coloration that causes visions of the 1998 film The Suffering of God, an adaptation of the cobweb orthodoxy creation myth described as having a metallic taste. A liquid red in coloration that causes visions of the 1974 film The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, described as tasting similar to orange juice. A liquid black in coloration, label reads The Opening of Night, TBA, test subject displayed behavior consistent with receiving a vision, but reported no memories of the experience, described as tasteless. Addendum 3151-1, History, the first known incident involving SCP-3151 was on the 2nd of October, 2018 when several noted anonymous film critics were brought to the Three Portland's Mercy Hospital after being found wandering through the streets, quoting popular films and proving unresponsive to all stimuli. Investigation of these initial victims' residences by UIU agents revealed the presence of several partially depleted containers of SCP-3151. Initial containment of SCP-3151 was handled solely by the UIU. However, as the spread of SCP-3151 use throughout three Portlands became more pronounced, it was agreed that a joint containment effort, Operation Effort, between the Foundation and the UIU would be of benefit to both parties, raised by MTF Better 29 on the residences of numerous anomalous substance dealers throughout Three Portlands, following the agreement resulted in numerous instances of SCP-3151 being brought into containment. This number has increased as Operation Uppert has gone on, and the presence of SCP-3151 in Three Portlands is expected to be removed entirely by the end of 2019. Attempts to contact West Head Meteor in regards to SCP-3151 have been unanswered in the same manner as all communications following their expulsion from the American Anomalous Companies Association.